Hi everyone, good day. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So again, this is the third part of finding the perimeter and the area of the plane figures. And today, we will discuss about the area and perimeter of the parallelogram. So without further ado, let's start. The area of parallelogram is derived from the area of the rectangle. As you can see, we draw an imaginary rectangle. Since the figure of parallelogram has two stand sides, Therefore, we need to draw an imaginary rectangle for us to get the area. So, it is derived from the area of the rectangle, length times width. But in parallelogram, we use length as base, or B, this is base, and width is height, or H, the vertical line, perpendicular to the base. So, for you to remember what is the area of the rectangle, we use a is equal to base times height. So if the given are the diagonals of the parallelogram, same with the square, the formula for area of the parallelogram given the length of the diagonals is A is equal to 1 half times first diagonal times second diagonal so we multiply the first and second diagonal then multiply it to one half or divide it by two so let us find the perimeter and area of the following so example number one we have five inches and three inches as the measurements of the sides and four inches as the measurement of the height so again perimeter means the distance around the plane figure and area means the surface enclosed by the figure. In Filipino, perimeter ay yung haba ng size paikot. And yung area ay yung pwede mong ilagay sa loob or itapal sa loob. So, let's start. Let's solve the perimeter. So, perimeter again, that is equal to length plus width times 2 since two opposite sides of parallelogram are congruent therefore first we add the measurement of the sides so length is equal to 5 inches and width is 3 inches so add them then multiply it by 2 so that is equal to 2 times 8 inches and that is equal to 16 inches. For area of parallelogram, we have A is equal to base times height. So our base is 5 inches. So that is equal to 5 inches times height. That is 4 inches. So that is equal to 5 times 4. 20 then inch times inch is square inch so for example number two we have eight centimeters and five centimeters as the measurement of the sides so we have four sides but the opposite sides are congruent therefore this one is eight centimeters also and this one is five centimeters so for us to get the perimeter we have length plus width times 2. So that is equal to 2 times length is 8 centimeters plus width is 5 centimeters. So 8 plus 5, that is 13 times 2, that is equal to 26 centimeters. For the area, that is equal to base times height. So, area is equal to base times height. And base is equal to base is equal to 8 centimeters and height is equal to 6 centimeters so 8 times 6 that is equal to 
48 square centimeters. So this is our area and this is our perimeter. So let us have example number 3. So we have base is equal to 4 inches and height is 2 inches. So the area is equal to base times height. So since base is equal to 4, so that is equal to 4 inches times 2 inches. So 4 times 2, that is equal to 8 square inches. For item number 4, we have the height of 5 feet and base of 3 feet. So again, area, that is equal to base times height. Since base is equal to 3 feet, 3 feet times 5 feet. So 3 times 5, that is equal to 15 square feet. For item number 5, the given are the diagonals or the measurement of the diagonals. So, for the formula, that is A is equal to 1 half first diagonal times second diagonal. So, first diagonal is 10 centimeters times the second diagonal is 7 centimeters. So, then multiply it by 1 half. So 10 times 7 is 70 divided by 2 that is equal to 35 square centimeters. That's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from my video and if you learn, please subscribe to my channel.